So this is this is an interesting one. I think the responsibility is one that's shared. Um, I think it's shared between the parents, the child themselves, and the kind of government slash education system that's closest to them. Um, I think there is there is something really important about allowing the child to feel responsible for that, which I think in a lot of cases they don't. They feel like it's kind of inflicted on them by the government, parents, one or the other or both, and they don't feel empowered. They don't feel like the third voice in that in that space. Um, I think it's quite important that governments do take education seriously, and I think it's something that most of them do. I think that's your future. That's how you you know, self-sustaining, that's kind of self-preservation to make sure that you educate your people, all of them as well, not just the rich ones or whatever it would be. Um, and I think for parents it's quite tough because it is one of many responsibilities that you have in being a parent. It isn't only about your child's education, there's also the nurture, their food, their, all kinds of kind of aspects to someone's life. Um, and I think that's where the tough, the, the, that's the kind of the crux of it. I think it's quite easy for a government to have an education system, set it up and let it run. But as a parent, you know, that's your one, two, three, however many children you have. That's your thing that you have to learn very quickly how to manage that, take the responsibility for that and make decisions, you know, with and on behalf of your child. Um, it's quite tough. Um, but often we do forget the role of, I think we forget the role of the parent because it's so difficult to manage, look after, influence.